All of these high-end items are allegedly stolen as part of a massive retail theft operation. State Attorney General Letitia James says Ronnie Rubinoff was the mastermind behind it, that he grew his multi-million dollar business on the backs of others, including hiring people to steal luxury items, goods from drugstores, household items, you name it. Rubinoff trained these employees to procure and directed the boosters to steal specific items from retailers based on sale trends from his eBay storefront. And then he purchased those goods from boosters for a fraction of the retail price. Police believe Rubinoff's operation put high-end stores around the city, including here in Soho, at risk for this. Smash and grab, something happening more frequently. Mayor Eric Adams says what Rubinoff is accused of doing is not a crime of poverty, instead the complete opposite. This was greed. Greed that attempted to exploit New Yorkers. And in many cases, police say the stolen items are resold on the internet or from Rubinoff storefronts, these pawn shops here in the Diamond District. During a three year long investigation, police followed a trail of stolen items. Some were kept here in a warehouse owned by Rubinoff in Fresh Meadows, worth millions of dollars. The stolen items are one thing, the impact this had on retailers is another. We have seen dozens of stores close. We have lost thousands of jobs because of this activity. They, the workers in these stores have been terrorized. In all, 41 people have been named in an indictment allegedly a part of this shoplifting enterprise that wreaked havoc on the city. Now Mayor Eric Adams vows to step up enforcement efforts to go after thieves. This is not a city where you can walk into a store, take what you want, and walk out. Rubinoff and the others face serious charges, including criminal possession of stolen property, money laundering, corruption, just to name a few. If convicted, they all face 8 to 25 years in prison. In lower Manhattan, Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.